Welcome to Ignite Success, where we talk about people, places, and projects that fire us up. I'm your host, Susie Becker, and I'm here with Dwight Senak of High Noon Game. Hi, Dwight. Hi, Susie. So here's what you don't know. I grew up watching Western movies yes. with my dad. Excellent. And so when I saw the back of this, the frontier of Saratoga is a bloody and unforgiving punishment as a way of life. High Noon is a tactical combat board game set in a fictional Wild West universe. So, while most parents are arguing with their kids to put their games down, this is the kind of game that I'm telling my kid to pick, pick up. up. Yes. So tell me, what brought you back to basics, Dwight? How'd you get inspired to create a game? Well, like you, I uh, watched uh, Westerns with my father and my grandfather. So that's what I grew up with. And uh, I also grew up playing board games with my father. So I now have a son, he's turning eight. And I thought one day, uh, through a series of thoughts, one thing that came to mind was, I'd like to make a game that I could play with my father and then I could play with my son. Oh, and wow. bring the family together. I love that. I love that you took something that was personal and special to you and you expanded that so that it becomes a generational impact, right? Because this is the CNAC family game. That's right. This, it, it, absolutely. We have game nights every Thursday just to keep the family together and get friends over. And I have a library of 100 plus games, which is small comparative to a lot of board game geeks out there. Mm. Um, but I'm like, hey, let's play this game, let's play it. And everybody's like, no, we're playing High Noon. It's, it, is, it is the family game. Okay, so you created a game that you were passionate about based on a topic that you were interested in. Mm -hmm. But the idea for the board games, I wanna go back to that. Tell me the kinds of things that you see when you watch your own child or other children playing board games as opposed to screens or videos. Okay, I'm gonna sound really cliche when I say this, but you see the interaction, you see them connect, you see the connectivity. Um, that was one thing when, when, I, when I took the game out to the general public, I had a project, I, I created this thing, and any creators watching this know that you go through a series, a crazy deep series of self-doubt, like, mm. did I just make a disaster? Which is <laughs> a, catast a catastrophe and a disaster yeah. in one. Um, you know, should I even be doing this? Like, you know, what gives me the right to, to put this out there? Um, and the very first time I took this to an event, there was a family that sat down and they never met me. I didn't know them. They didn't know me. They didn't know High Noon. They were just at this board game event and they wanted to try out a new game. They sat down and they played this game and it, it was like, like, not immediately, within like five minutes, they had started taking on the personas of the characters in the game. And they started like attacking each other and it jab insulting each other in jest, but, sure. but in the voices of the characters. And then they were laughing and smiling. And then, and I could see that like, they were making memories with this game. And in real time. In real time. And I'm watching, I'm like, I didn't make a board game. I made memories. That's it. That's exactly it. We're taking something that seems simple, but because it's tangible and it takes our time and it takes our effort and it takes the opportunity to use critical thinking mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with people who are challenging us, now we're developing those connections. Absolutely. And all of those neurons are firing off so when we say pick your player, mm -hmm. it takes on a whole different meaning. Yes. Right? You don't yeah. have to pick an avatar. You're your real self you, yep. in the space of this game. That's right. That's right. So let me ask you, is this your first game that you ever created? It is. I Well, <laughs> no. Yes and no. It's my first game I've published. Okay. People, people would ask me, like, so have you made board games in the past? Like, what got you into this? And I'm like... I don't know, and I would think back, like, I don't know, what did get me, like, why a board game, besides the inspiration? And so for a long time, I was like, I don't know, I just kind of fell into it and did it. But then I thought back, I'm like, no, like, I made board games when I was a kid. I, I made a board game for a, for a middle school project. It was a terrible game. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, made it. Uh, so I think making board games was something that I was always 
doing in, as a child. Like I was, I was always working that skill as a child. Uh, and that all that accumulated to or culminated to High Noon. So creatively inspired to find a way to connect in person with people you care about and create connections amongst people you've never even met. That's really what board games are about. Um, one of the, That's the thing I love about board game events, and there's a lot of them out there, uh, but you have people that don't know each other, never met each other, and they sit down and they play this game and they, they create these like bonds like over a table. And one of the, the things, you know, we, we live in a very polarizing time today. Mm. Um, it's, you know, whether it's politics or any kind of other divisive topic, um, there's, I don't want to say America's never been more divided, but there's a lot of division in this country. And there, you would, if online, on, we're talking about get off, the, get off the internet, get off the video games. But online, you look on social media and people are like vitriolic to each other, in, uh, separated. Yeah. But when they sit down, when, when, when people come and sit down and play a game, all that goes away. The suspension of disbelief. You're in this alternate reality where who you're connecting with and how you connect is what matters ultimately. That's right, because it brings everybody together. Yeah. Thank you so much, Dwight, for coming and sharing this with me. I'm really excited to find out more. And if you want to find out more, you can go to dailynewsnetwork.com. I'm your host, Susie Becker. Stay inspired and inspiring.